hello, 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 everyone. Hello, my name is Terry, and welcome to my kitchen. So today we are going to be doing something different. Um, it's not going to be our normal cook and chat how we've done thus far. Uh, today we're going to be doing a cook along with me. So this was something that was actually suggested. Uh, I want to say on my very first live, but it was recently suggested again by a friend of mine. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go live on Sunday because Sunday was Easter. So I was like, I'll go ahead and do something special. We can do a little cook along with me today. So hopefully y'all have y'all ingredients ready. Um, we're going to have a delicious, easy week not, weeknight pasta dish. So make sure, um, just so that everybody can, when you come in, make sure you like this video so we can have more people come join the party. Um, like the video. Make sure you let me know that you're here. Let me know if you're going to be cooking along with me or if you're just going to be watching and taking notes. Maybe you can cook this a little bit later, either today or another day in the week. Uh, so yeah, so today we're going to be making an easy weeknight pasta dish. So on the ingredients list, you saw that I suggested I will be making uh, this easy, delicious pasta dish with salmon, oh, I'm sorry, not salmon, with lobster as well as scallops. However, if you are a seafood person, I suggested that you can use chicken, either chicken breast or chicken thighs. Um, or if you don't eat lobster and scallops, you can do this with shrimp. It's really just a very basic pasta dish. Um, it'll work with both seafood as well as chicken. So we're going to get started right away. Um, the first thing we're going to have to do is cut down our lobster. So I have a few lobster tails that I'm going to be using. If you're not using lobster today, if you're just going to be doing chicken, that is okay. Um, <clears throat> you could just Hang on a second and I'll show you how I'm going to be seasoning this up. Again, this is going to be a very basic dish that you can kind of zhuzh up or down, however you feel. Um, so yeah, make sure y'all like the video. Make sure you come in and let me know that you're here. If you're going to be cooking along with me, great. If not, you could still join the party. We have someone already here. Let's see who it is. Glamorous D <laughs> says fancy. Yeah, you know, I decided to go a little, little extra today, be a little fancy, uh, make some lobster. I haven't made lobster on the channel yet, I don't believe. No, I haven't. I actually love cooking with lobster, but I know a lot of people, they don't make lobster at home. One, because it's kind of expensive. It really is. Um, I got these on sale, these small little lobster tails that were $8.99 a piece, y'all. It, it, it is expensive. Food is just expensive. But typically, when I do cook with lobster, I do things like this because it's actually just too much to try to give everybody their own lobster tail. So let me get my other cutting board. So cutting down lobster is really, really easy. Um, it's just it can look intimidating. I would recommend that you have some kitchen shears or some type of scissors. So I'm going to... So here we have the lobster tail. This is what we'll say the top, and this is the bottom. With your scissors, you should insert them in and kind of cut along the bottom this way, because we're trying to get the lobster meat out. Um, if we were going to be making um, like fancy lobster where you wanted the lobster still in the shell to sit it on top, we would cut it on the top. You can actually cut it both at the top or the, and the bottom um, because, again, we're just trying to get the lobster meat out. We're going to be cutting the lobster meat up as well, so we're not going to keep it whole. Um, the lobster is going to kind of be inside of the pasta dish. We'll have our scallops sitting on top. But if you're making it with chicken, you can also still reserve some chicken on, side, on the side so that you can be able to, uh, you know, have a nice little presentation. Glamorous D said, still eating or still cheaper than eating out. Yeah, y'all, let me tell y'all. Eating out is so expensive. Okay. The other day I went out and um, went to a sushi restaurant and one roll like the, now granted, 
they have like real fancy rolls. You can get like a real fancy roll. They have this Wagyu roll. That was fancy. Of course, they say Wagyu beef. It's like really expensive. All I'm doing is just, and let me take this off so y'all can see me. All I'm doing is just taking the lobster out of the shell. Like if you want, please try to be a little bit delicate because lobster can fall apart. However, again, remember we are taking it out the shell and we're going to be cutting it up. So you see here, it's very simple. I already cleaned the lobster, but I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off just again once I get all of the lobster out of the out of the shell. But yeah, I went to this sushi restaurant. Y'all, one roll, granted it was more expensive because it was Wagyu, but that roll was $35. $35 for one roll. What in the heck? Then if you want some like steak or something, like y'all know I made like some, um, what was that? Ribeye steak. When I'm at a steakhouse, a ribeye can cost easy like $40. Just the ribeye. That's not even including sides. Food is so expensive. This is why I like to cook how I cook at home because I don't want to eat like the same things all the time, right? Like I want to give my, my taste buds, you know, a little bit of a variety but still eating relatively healthy so because i like to cook at home because i like to try out different things i don't always feel like i'm eating the same thing i do find that a lot of people they complain to me all the time they're like oh i feel like i eat the same stuff because people are afraid to like venture out try new seasonings try new different methods of cooking all of that right you can't be scared look that's one whole piece of lobster $8.99. <laughs> Yvette says, eating out is ridiculous nowadays. It is. It is. All right. So this is our last little lobster tail. Like I said, I'm putting my scissors inside and cutting it all the way down. And then no matter if you cut it on the top or the bottom, you can just open it up like so. And then just fish the dang all meat out. And it's really, it's pretty simple. Maybe one day I'll cook with lobster again and show y'all how to, like if we were going to be keeping the lobster, I wouldn't take it all the way out. I would just kind of sit it on top like so. And then that's how they have like the little fancy presentation. But we want the lobster meat out because we're, we're cooking it and it's going to be inside of our pasta. All right. I see Z Wift in the house. Thank you for joining. Yvette, you're here. Thank you for joining. Let me clean off this lobster real fast. Just rinse it off. Be very, very careful. Lobster is pretty delicate. So if you do too much manipulating, it can kind of fall apart. So just be mindful of that. Also, when you are cooking seafood, and I've told you guys this before, Make sure that you are always keeping like some paper towels or something because you want to start seafood off dry. You do not want to have your seafood full of water. If you live in a place like me that's kind of landlocked, then you're not going to necessarily get very fresh seafood. So a lot of times our seafood is frozen, which is fine. Get what you can. Um, but make sure that once you thaw it out or, you know, clean it off or whatnot, you dry it very well because you don't want to have all that liquid inside. And I like to dry my bowls too, because we are going to be seasoning these inside of the bowl. So along with the lobster, we're also going to be making scallops. So I got some sea scallops. These are the large ones. If you have smaller scallops, perfectly fine. Um, we will just have to adjust a little bit how we cook them. But with the larger lobs or scallops, it's going to be similar to like searing steak. Um, you don't want to overcook it. it. It just needs to make sure that you kind of cook a little bit through, for the most part through. You don't want it undercooked. But scallops, just like shrimp, just like lobster, just like crab, all seafood, honestly, it cooks very fast. And it's so quick, easy to overcook it. So... I'm going to give you a few tips on how not to overcook it a lot. And also, yes, I'm going to give you a few tips. So got my scallops in the bowl. All of those are dried out. I got some more comments I want to put up. We got Miss Peach Love in the building. She says, good afternoon, all. Welcome in. Please don't forget to like the button, like the video, and join in the chat. We got, let's see. 
Z Wiv, what he's saying. Funny, I can't eat shellfish because I have an allergy, but when I worked in restaurants, I could handle it no problem. Made plenty lobster and scampi in my day. You know what? It is funny how like um how allergies can be like that because I've been around people that have like, you know, big, severe seafood allergies where they can't even smell it. And then I've, of course, see, uh, heard of people like you who can handle it, who can cook it, but you just can't eat it. I can eat shellfish, but lately I can't handle it with my raw hands, bare hands. So I always use gloves. So with these lobster tails, I'm just cutting it down the middle and then I'm going to cut like little bite sized pieces. Because again, we don't need our lobster in large pieces. It's going to go inside the pasta. But we are going to make our scallops kind of cute so we can have a nice presentation. Also, y'all, no matter if you're cooking this with shrimp, chicken, whatever, whatever type of protein, this will be an amazing dish for date night. Date night opportunities. Okay. We're going to have a little wine in here. So it's going to be real, you know, grown and sexy alike. All right. Okay. So I got my lobster cut up in a few pieces. Scallops. We're going to season the lobster and the scallops the same way. Y'all, I'm so excited about this seasoning I found today. On my, I was looking for my favorite. Uh, hold on, let me bring my paper towels over here. I was looking for my favorite Kinder seasoning. Y'all know I'm very particular about the types of seasoning blends that I like to use. So today, for our lobster and our scallops, we're going to be using lemon pepper seasoning, the Kinder's no salt lemon pepper seasoning. So it has all that goodness without the sodium, zero sodium. So it allows us to have control of how much sodium we're using. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. You don't need to over season your seafood, okay? Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. We want to taste the seafood. We don't want to just taste the seasoning. So I'm real excited about this. Oh, I see a, a, a question I'm going to answer in just a minute. Let me show y'all this, and then I'm going to answer your question, Glamour D. So I found this today at Sprouts. Y'all know I, I showed y'all this seasoning before, the no salt lemon pepper seasoning. I love using this on all different types of things, chicken, fish, beef, whatever, right? Whatever I want to have some type of citrus seasoning, but it doesn't have salt. They also have more no salt seasonings by Kinder's, and this is one I picked up. It is blackened seasoning with cayenne and lemon. So this is what it looks like. I found it today at Sprouts. Sprouts food, uh, what do they call it? Sprouts Farmer's Market. Kind of like a, um, uh oh. It's kind of like a, um, kind of like a Whole Foods, but a little bit less expensive. So if you have one in your area, I recommend you check it out. Sprouts has all type of good stuff. Their, their protein is a little bit pricey, but their produce is actually always a good price. They always have really good sales on their produce. They also have like a, a bulk section that you can buy, like um, different pastas, um, all types of stuff. So I really like Sprouts. Highly recommend it if you have one. Good Jesus. This is kind of caked up. All right. So just a little bit in both. Glamorous D has a question. Out of curiosity, how many different types of meals do you cook in a two-week period, i.e. Italian, Mexican, etc.? cetera? <clears throat> Y'all, I cook the same stuff like protein. So I love cooking chicken. Of course, I'll cook a lot of different chicken ground turkey when I'm feeling like hamburgers and some type of taco. Of course, I love beef, fish, but I probably rotate like four of cuisines a week. So <laughs> I love Asian food. So I cook a lot of Asian food. I live in Phoenix, little Mexico. So Mexican food is high on the list too. Um, 
Italian, yeah. But when I say Asian, I'll switch it up by country. So I'll do like Korean one day. I'll do like Vietnamese another day, kind of Thai. Sometimes I, I always add in my little Caribbean spices in there too. So I switch it up. I really switch it up a lot. I'm going to estimate at like at least three or four times a week I'm eating something. I'm alternating how I'm eating. All right. So the rest of the seasoning that's going to go on our seafood, I'm going to add in a tiny, tiny bit of, um, it looks like Yvette says Trader Joe's have some amazing no salt seasonings as well. Okay. We have to check that out. Trader Joe's is not close to my house. So I, I feel like I'm, I never go there. All right. So I'm going to use a little bit of my green seasoning, y'all. The recipe, again, as always, is on my website. My sister actually used it this weekend for her Easter grilling that she did, and she loves it, okay? So make sure you check out it. Check out the recipe. It's amazing. No salt, no oil, no sugar. It's like an all-purpose seasoning. So y'all see probably about a half a table or teaspoon, just a little bit, about a teaspoon here. Let's do just a tiny uh -oh. All right. Yeah, we don't need a whole lot. We don't need a whole lot. All right. I'm going to add in a little salt. I'm going to use kosher salt. Again, I don't want to season it too crazy because we're going to have a nice little flavorful um, sauce here. We're going to use some wine, like I said, fresh garlic, shallot. It's going to be good, y'all. A little bit of garlic powder, just a tiny bit. And we'll add in a little bit of onion powder as well. And then from here, we're just gonna season it up. Make sure you get the green seasoning all mixed in here good. I'll show you, oh y'all, this smells so good already. Already, already, already. And then it's gonna take really quickly to make this pasta. So we're not gonna be cooking for a long period of time. The type of pasta we're going to be using today. So here's our lobster that I've gone and seasoned up. Y'all see like the little small pieces there that we're going to be cooking up. And then same thing with the scallops. Just make sure you get the seasonings all around. Be very careful with the scallops because they are pretty delicate. Um, but yeah, make sure you get all the seasonings. So I'm going to be cutting up everything that we need for our season or for our sauce, for our pasta. I don't want to um, <clears throat> not have everything ready and have to cut up things while things are cooking because just like with stir frying, this is going to be a super quick, super easy, fast meal. It don't take a lot. The most is going to, the most time is going to be the pasta and cutting everything up. So here we have our scallops nice and seasoned. Okay. All right. So we'll put that there. We'll take these off. How was y'all's Easter? My Easter did not feel like Easter. <laughs> I went to the Phoenix Suns game yesterday, so we had a good time. But my daughter is older now, so like all the things that people do for Easter, we just don't do that anymore. It's it's just different. I feel like as your kids get older, things just ain't the same no more. All right. What Miss Peach Love is saying. She is saying, I promise the green seasoning is the truth. Several of my guests asked me to make them some. I put it on steak, shrimp, chicken, salmon, potatoes, and asparagus. Y'all, when I say this is an all-purpose seasoning, you can use it for so much. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Yvette says, okay, I'll have to make that. I'll have to give that green season a try. Yes, please do. Who we got in the building here? Smoke and talk. What's up y'all Baltimore in the building. Thank you so much. Smoke and talk for being here. Y'all check out smoke and talks YouTube channel. They go live. I think Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so yes, definitely go ahead and check them out. I think they were live today. I was able to catch just a few minutes before I was, I was doing my shopping y'all. I didn't do it yesterday. All right. So first things first, we're going to be cutting up some garlic. Um, just going to do like a nice little chop of the garlic. You don't have to mince it up really fine, but we do want like small little rough chops to it. 
Um, but again, it doesn't have to be real fine. I am using, I probably had about like six cloves of large cloves of garlic. I want this sauce to be really, really garlicky. So we're going to be using quite a bit of garlic today. Um, and like I said, just chop it up. We're going to also be using some fresh basil. Okay. Fresh basil. We're also going to be using some cherry tomatoes. I have all the ingredients actually in the description. So even if you're not cooking along with me now, definitely go ahead after you see how good this turns out. Go ahead and make your way to the grocery store so you can make this for your man or your woman child, and yourself or your kids, whoever. But this actually would be a really nice little date night meal for real, for real, y'all. I love making pasta. I don't know why so many women make pasta for men, but I think it's because it's so easy. It's like a one pot wonder, like one dish. All right. All right, I guess our garlic is chopped up enough. Yeah, this is good enough. I'm gonna turn on the pasta water here shortly. Today, we're gonna be using some linguine. I just bought some regular linguine. They didn't have, I like to use a lot of whole wheat pasta because it helps, it, for me, it's better for digestion. However, I couldn't find whole wheat linguine today, so I'm just gonna use regular linguine. <laughs> Glamorous D says, vampires ain't touching it with all that garlic, huh? Keep them away. Keep the blood suckers, the energy suckers away, okay? So yeah, we're going to use uh, Berea. Going to use Berea um, Linguini. I'm going to be using my pot, my new pot from Z Whip. Shout out to Z Whip for the new pot. Thank you so much, sir. I am so excited. That's going to be our pasta pot for today. All right. Also, what we're going to be chopping up is one shallot. So I got one whole shallot here. I'm going to mince the shallots or dice them. All right. I love shallots. I call myself um, soaking it in water, y'all. Now we'll see if I'm able to keep my eyes from burning. I feel like every or watering. Every time I cut up onions, shallots, don't matter. My eyes water. You think after all these years of cooking, I would have gotten it by now, but for some reason I can't. So yeah, just dice it up nice and fine. All of these veggies, the onions and garlic, we're going to cook them in our sauce. If you don't have a shallot, see, look, already it's happening. If you don't have shallots, you can use red onions or regular onions, but I prefer shallots when I make like sauces like this. Woo, child. Live cooking. All right, y'all. Y'all y'all are saying hello in the chat. Just want to check these things. Woo. Okay. That's just one half. We still got a whole nother half to cut. Lord Jesus. My eyes are watering. My eyes are watering. Did anybody else cook for the holiday? I know Miss Peach Love says she made a whole... Um, she made for the July for Easter, basically chicken, ribs, hamburgers, seafood. How many guests you had at your house? Jesus Christ. I was going to cook for the holiday, but I didn't feel like doing all that. I knew I was cooking today and I cooked on Saturday. So I said, you know what? We're going to go to this basketball game and the dang on sons. They end up losing yesterday, y'all. They lost, but we left the game early anyway. Looks like Yvette said just did a small little barbecue. That sounds fun. You know, growing up, I feel like we used to have like the same type of foods for every holiday, but I'm glad to see that our generation, the younger generations for holidays, we changing things up. We making new traditions and things. It don't have to look the same as it did when we were kids. It really doesn't. Taking kids out. Honestly, I think that those types of holidays are perfect to expose your kids to different types of things, different types of food. Y'all, not to sound judgy, but so y'all know I live in Phoenix, right? And um, Phoenix is not a city where you see a lot of people that look like me. 
okay, I'll say it like this. Phoenix is not a city where you see a lot of people look like me, for real. I'm from Cleveland. So Cleveland, Ohio has a large population of Black Americans, of Black people in general, right? Over half the population is Black. So because of that, you know, we got, I also have some parsley. I did not put parsley on the list of ingredients. I'm just going to cut up a little bit because it's going to be a nice little garnish, okay? Now let me make sure my uh, pasta pot is going. <sighs> okay, y'all, my eyes, my eyes are watering. Let's see, Yvette says, I can't handle any onion now that I've gotten older. It seems like nothing works, nothing helps. Nothing I do helps. Don't judge me, my life. I had nine guests plus three of my children. See, she was doing too much. Who we got here? Who we got here? Real Bravado Network. Shout out to my sexiest strong. Thank you so much, Real Bravado Network. Real Bravado Network for joining. Huge supporter of the channel. Really appreciate you being here. Definitely go ahead and check out Real Bravado Network, y'all. Great content creator on YouTube. He has some good videos. He had an excellent video recently, and I'm pretty sure the uh, replay is still on his channel. So make sure y'all check him out. Tell him I sent you. Go make sure you watch his videos and leave a comment and say, my sexy and strong, send me over here. Shout out to you. All right. Looks like we got somebody else that just made an appearance in the chat. Craig Lamar. Hello. Hey, hey, people. He said he's late. You're not late. You're right on time. Right on time. All right. So I'm just cutting up some parsley so that we can um, have a little as garnish at the end of our meal. Also, next thing I'm going to cut up. Hey. Hello, Matt. He says, hey, Terry. Hey there. I met Matt at the dang on basketball game, y'all. And he followed me on YouTube. So shout out to him. Hello. Thank you so much for joining Smoke and Talk. He's wishing Real Bravado Network a hello. Oh, my God. You know what? Name that movie. <laughs> my name is Peaches and I'm the best. <laughs> name that peach. Name that movie. Okay, Glamour's D, he has a question. Have you ever made a charcuterie board? It seems like a really cool way to serve food if you're creative. Yes, I actually have made a charcuterie board. I actually love making charcuterie boards. Um, I'll have to post a few pictures on my community tab. It is easy. It's actually easy. I think people kind of think too hard when it comes to charcuterie boards. They think that it has to look a certain way. Wait a minute. <laughs> we just got a notification. Oh my God, y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I just received a notification, a $100 cash app donation from Thane Mithra. Thane Mithra. Shout out to Thane. He is a huge, huge supporter of so many black content creators here on YouTube. I have seen him in lead attorney's chats, um, everybody's chats, y'all. Shout out to Thane. Thank you so, so much for the cash app. He says, explain to me how we seasoned cooks can carry hot pots off the stove without wincing. Moms ain't no joke. <laughs> Look, they had a different type of hand or something. My grandmother used to be able to pick up hot stuff. It just didn't matter. I felt like my grandmother's hands had seasoning in them, but they also had like some type of protective layer of skin or something because she was able to do so many things. I can't do all that. I can cook well and I play around with hot stuff. But I have burned myself one too many times in the kitchen. So no, you're not about to see me picking up hot stuff. But... Thank you so much, Thane. I really, really appreciate you so much. Like I said, Thane is a huge, huge supporter of so many Black content creators, um, especially the ones that are part of Lead Attorney's Mastermind. So shout out to you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so what I'm about to do, we have some fresh basil we're going to be adding to our pasta. So I'm just going to 
I've cut up or I've taken the basil leaves off the stems and we're just going to line them up together like so. You can do four or five leaves. If you don't like basil, you can skip the basil. If you love basil like me, you can add more. The more basil you add, the more flavor you'll get from the basil. So I have about five or six leaves here together. I'm going to fold them over and then I'm just going to like make little strips like julienne cuts like so. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like. So little strips like this. Um, I'm actually going to cut up some more because I want I want that good flavor. OK. Yes, Thane. I'm going to add you to the banner in just a second. Let me finish cutting up this basil. Thane is the stream sponsor. So I got to make sure I make this especially good for you. OK, because you show mad love today and I really, really appreciate that. Y'all know I am huge on um reinvesting back into the channel so shout out to Thane because now let's see I'm gonna I'm cook something real good for y'all on Wednesday shout out to Thane shout out to Thane all right let's see Thane Miss Ra woohoo I will say this I was uh, saying hello to Thane in one of lead attorney's lives. And when he said he watched my videos, I was so flattered because, you know, I just be over here cooking. I try to have good, interesting conversations for everybody to engage in. But, you know, not everybody is into cooking. So I appreciate you for stopping by, for showing love and support. You are the real MVP. So we got Thane in the in the banner now. Thank you so much. I'm so appreciative. Okay, look. All right, y'all. So we've cut up our garlic, our basil. We got a little parsley for our garnish at the end. Shallots. Last thing I want to show y'all, last two things we're going to have to do. I do have some lemon. We're going to uh, put in some lemon zest or zest the lemon because we are going to be adding lemon zest to our um, sauce. And then we're also going to add some lemon juice, but we'll juice that at the end. All right. So I'm going to zest our lemon. Let's see. Let's see what's in the chat. All right. I had some little. All right. Let me get another container. All right. Looks like our pasta water. It's almost ready. I'm going to get my salt. So when you're cooking pasta, y'all, we cook pasta over here like the Italians. OK, we keep it tried and true because it works. Hot water, you know, get your water boiling. We're going to add some kosher salt right before we put our pasta in there. Put the pasta in there. Stir it around so it doesn't stick. Leave it alone. Let it cook. Do not add oil to your pasta, okay? I am anti-oil adding to the pasta. You can if you feel like it, but honestly, as long as your pot is big enough, your pasta will not stick together. Put it in there, stir it around, and let it do its thing. If the pot is big enough, the pasta will not stick together, okay? So if you find that your pasta is sticking together, nine times out of 10, you need a bigger pot. So that's my tip for the day. All right, I want to cut up a little bit more basil since I have just this little bit left. I'm going to zest my lemon. So we're just going to zest one lemon. Remember, lemon zest is just a small layer of skin on the outside. Make sure you clean your lemons off so that way you can get all the goodness with no germs. Um, you're going to use a microplane and just run it against there. Make sure when you are zesting, you're not going too deep <sighs> oh my god <laughs> lord jesus so we got another cash app from thane he sent another hundred dollars he said for women that cook are women that cook are awesome thank you thane i gotta update the uh banner now i'm gonna update the banner because 
Thane is the stream sponsor with his $200 cash app. Shout out to Thane. All right, Thane, you're going to have to tell me what you want me to cook on live for Wednesday. Whether you can make it or not, I'm still going to cook whatever you want on Wednesday. It's just for you because we have to support the men that support us, okay? All right, so it's time to put the pasta in here. I'm going to put a nice liberal amount of salt. You want your salt, you want your water for your pasta to be like the sea, salty, okay? So I'm just going to do about half of this box of pasta just so I can make sure I have enough. I don't break my pasta. I just throw it in the water. Throw it in the water. Go ahead and uh, stir it around. And we can just keep watching it. So this particular pasta, the directions say cook it for about 10 minutes. So that's what we're going to do for al dente. Al dente is just a bite. All right, can y'all hear me now? Y'all can hear me now? Okay, looks like I was mute for about two minutes. All right, I should be. Can you hear me now? My, micro my microphone sometimes gets cut off. Let me put it up here so I don't make a mistake. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. But basically, no oil in the pasta. Let's see, what else? Oh, because Thane blessed the channel and he says, I'm the chef, I'm going to think of something really good for us to have on Wednesday. I'm going to bless y'all because he blessed us. All right. All right, y'all. It's time to make this sauce really quickly. Let me bring up my, bring up my other pot. All right. So, like I said, this sauce is going to go super, super quick. Super, super quick. Not going to take a long time. So I got my pot preheating. You don't need it super high. The first thing we're going to cook is our seafood. So we're going to make our lobster first, brown it up, then take it out. Then we're going to sear our scallops. Get those a nice sear on both sides. Make sure they're cooked through for the most part and then take them out. Then we're going to start with everything else. So this again, this dish is going to go super fast. 
The only other thing I forgot to show y'all, I'm going to be adding some cheese. Cheese is optional. If you don't eat cheese, you can either use dairy-free cheese or no cheese at all. I went ahead and just bought a wedge of Parmesan cheese that I'll be grating on at the end of cooking our pasta. So let me get that out. So we're ready. All right. So for this, uh-oh. I'm going to start with some cooking spray, non-stick cooking spray. If you want, you can use olive oil, but this pot is non-stick and it actually cooks really well. So it allows me to not have to use a lot of oil. And y'all know we're cooking for health. So we want our dishes to use the least amount of oil and additional fat as possible. So I'm just going to brown this up. It don't take a long time at all. Let me get a little, while that's cooking up, I'm just going to rinse out my bowl because we are going to be taking out the seafood. You don't want it to overcook, so we can't leave it in there while the sauce is cooking because then it'll be rubbery. And we don't want that, y'all. You want to make sure that it is cooked, but not overcooked. So y'all see how quick this is cooking, right? We really just want to make sure it starts to get opaque on both sides. And then literally, as you see it getting cooked thoroughly or through all the way through, take it out. Because it's going to continue to cook even after you take it off the heat. So you don't want to see it getting completely 100% opaque. You just want to see like, okay. We good here. We got one side that's already starting to get opaque. We're going to let the other side start the cooking process, and then we're going to remove. If you want to just keep swirling it around, you can do that. And then now I'm literally taking this out because I don't want it. And remember, the lobster is going to go in our sauce as well. So it's going to cook from the heat of the salsa as, or the sauce as well. Taking this out. It's best for your non-stick if you have silicone. <laughs> That's what I need to get. A silicone tongs. All right. So now, keep this heat together. I'm going to add just a little bit. And I like the fact that we got our little brown bits at the bottom. That's where all the flavor is, y'all. All the flavor. Let's see your comments as they're coming in. All right. We're going to put our sea scallops one at a time. So with scallops, like I said, we're going to do very similar to what we were doing before, but we do want these to cook for the most part because these are going to go in our pasta as like a on top. They're not going to go inside of the sauce. So we do want these to cook for the most part through. But again, we're going to take them off just shy of completing the cooking process because it will continue to cook even after it's off the heat. If you joined us late, we seasoned our seafood with the Kinder's no salt lemon seasoning or lemon pepper seasoning. We also use the Kinder's no salt blackened seasoning. This has cayenne and lemon in it. I also use some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of my green seasoning. We had a review from the green seasoning earlier. So if you missed it, maybe Miss Peach Love will say again how successful her green seasoning was. Um, so we use a little bit of green seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, as well as some kosher salt. And yeah, that's it. All right. Let me turn this up because I want to make sure it has a good sear. All right. Okay. Let me see what's the chat. What y'all doing in the chat? Any questions for me? Yes, Miss Peach Love is reminding us to please make sure you like the video. Derek Gaines is in the building. Thanks so much for joining, Derek. He says, when's the cookbook coming out? And then we have someone else co-signing the cookbook. <laughs> Mr. Craig, when is the cookbook? The cookbook, it is going to come out. I don't know when, though. I'll be honest. All right. 
Let me go ahead, turn my scallops over. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Nice little sear going on. Little brownness. All right. So yes, I'm bringing them in the middle so we can make sure we get some good color on them. That seasoning, the blackened seasoning is also gonna help with the color as well. Um, you can also use a little paprika if needed. All right, once our scallops are done, we're gonna take them out and then the rest of this sauce is going, or yeah, we're gonna finish up the rest of this sauce. Let's see, Mr. Craig says, I'm an Old Bay season when it comes. I have some Old Bay. I started to use that, but since I had these other seasonings, the no salt blackened seasoning and the no salt lemon pepper, I decided against the lemon, uh, the Old Bay. I didn't want too many of those flavors competing. So, but I do love using Old Bay. Typically, I use Old Bay when I'm frying fish. I love using Old Bay for seafood. Ooh, these looking good, y'all. They're almost done. They're almost cooked through for the most part. So I'm going to take them off here shortly. Let me get a flip them again. I'm going to let them sit there. Let me get a plate. Our pasta is done. Alexa off. Before I take my pasta out, I always double check to see check the doneness by literally eating one of the noodles i'm gonna keep it in there one more minute here shortly but it's salty and that's what we want and the reason why you salt your pasta that also helps season the plate the food you don't want bland pasta y'all all right I'm going to flip these and take these out. These are looking beautiful. I haven't cooked scallops in so long, but I love them. I feel like it's a seafood that we forget. Like everybody eat the same seafood. We eat crab legs because everybody wants crab leg boil. Of course, we eat a lot of uh, shrimp. Of course, we eat a lot of um, salmon. Everybody act like salmon is the only type of fish we can eat. So I was like, you know what? Let me do something different. Let's do something different. All right. I am super excited about all this flavor we have at the bottom. One of the reasons why I also like to cook my seafood like this, cooking the seafood first and then making the sauce after I cook the seafood is because that flavor is in there. Like you don't need a whole lot. I feel like people use a lot of seasonings, a lot of cheese. They use all these extra things and it's just like season the food nicely so that you get the natural flavors but allow everything to kind of come together the method in which you cook your stuff definitely is going to indicate the flavor of your food so we made our seafood already so the flavor of the seafood is going to be in there we got our shallots going in here oh look at all of that look at them little brown bits so we're going to saute our shallots really quickly as the shallots start to get translucent then i'm going to add in the then we're going to add in the garlic looks like Derek Gaines says he doesn't like crab it's too i love crab but i understand some people don't like it all right so remember y'all our sauce that we're going to be making today we're going to be using um some wine so if you don't like to cook with alcohol I recommend cooking for al with alcohol all the time. I don't made y'all know how many boozy, delicious dishes. But if you don't want to use wine, that's fine. You can use uh, chicken broth or you can use cooking wine, like the non-alcoholic version. Um, but I am going to be using wine. I have a little bit of chicken broth just in case I need more liquid. But I'm going to try to use mostly wine. All right. Now that we have that, I'm using Pinot Grigio. You can use Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio. Just try to use like a drier white wine. Do not use no Moscato and nothing like that. You don't want sweet wine. All right, y'all. 
So let about a half to a cup of about a cup of this. <laughs> no, no vodka, Derek. No vodka. You could, but the vodka is not going to have the same flavor as like a wine. So I highly, highly recommend a wine for this type of sauce that we're making. All right. While that's, I'm getting that to come up to temperature. I want to bring that to a boil so we can cook all the alcohol off. I'm going to drain my pasta. Oh, shit. Damn, y'all, that was hot. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not like the old school cooks. All right. So I'm just going to let this sit over here, the pasta sit over there. Oh, that's off. Cool. All right. So we do want the alcohol to cook off of here. So we're just bringing it to a boil. Oh, just as high as it'll go. All right. You can smell the aroma. Vodka is just going to be different. The flavors of vodka is going to be different. You can cook with vodka because, especially like with like a pasta or vodka sauce. So, but typically you would use like um, tomatoes with that. I would say for this particular sauce, because of the lightness of it, I would say go with the wine. And wine is made with grapes, so there's some natural sweetness to that, to the flavor of the wine. So it's just going to fare out better for the type of sauce that we're going to be making today. All right. I want this to come to a boil, so I'm turning this up. Once that comes to a boil, I'm going to start adding in our other ingredients. So remember, we're going to be using our... Um, Lemon zest, basil, we have some cherry tomatoes we're going to be throwing up in here. Very light, very, very light. Let's see, Miss Peach Love says, I prefer regular wine. For some reason, no matter how long I reduce wine, cooking wine is still, I can still taste it. Yeah, it doesn't have that taste, you know, that wine does. There's flavor vodka. Derek is dead set on using vodka for this dish. <laughs> If you use vodka, tell me how it turned out. Yeah, grandma would have carried that like it was not even on the stove. Right. I, you know, I'm not no, I'm not the old school cook. I could cook like the old school cook, but my hands, they're delicate. Okay. They're delicate. Even though I lift heavy weights, I still use gloves because I want my hands to be nice and soft. No man wants somebody, a woman rubbing their hands on him and hit her hands feel like she worked at a mechanic shop. Okay. Mona is in the building. She says, hello, my sis and everyone. Just popping in. Got to get back to work. Thanks for joining, Mona. Everybody, make sure y'all check Mona out. We got to get Mona to 1,000 subscribers, y'all, so she can get her channel monetized. So if you're not already <laughs> subscribed to Mona, make sure you go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm over here smelling Woo, the aroma. All right. So I'm adding in my lemon zest i'm gonna add in my cherry tomatoes get that popping it's not gonna be super super saucy remember y'all it's a light little situation a light situation so we're gonna let these kind of get heated up you don't want the tomatoes to burst all the way you just want them to kind of start that process but you don't want them to start bursting and then it's going to be like mushy no all right i'm going to taste it see where we are see what type of seasoning we need mm. that lemon flavor is in there let me go ahead and put my lemon juice the juice of one lemon i am squeezing it cup side up so we can prevent the seeds from going inside of our sauce oh yes i'm gonna hold off on adding too much salt to this because remember we salted our 
pasta and y'all that water was salty on purpose so we don't need a lot of salt but i will add in some crushed red peppers these are optional but just to add in a little spice we're gonna add in just a little bit my daughter likes the spice so not to worry if you're gonna be making this for children or even if your man or your girl, they don't like spice, then you can hold that off. Or you can add the crushed red peppers in early on in the cooking process with the onions or with the shallots, as well as the garlic. And that'll help you know, kind of diffuse some of the spice. Okay. Let me taste this. See where we are. Mm. All right. I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic powder Just a little tiny, tiny bit of onion powder. Let's mix. Then I'm going to add in our pasta. Because these, yeah, the cherry tomatoes are good. I don't want them to burst. So we're going to get going. All right. So I got my linguine in here. I'm going to add in my basil. I'm going to add in my lobster as well. And toss. Let me get my. Oh, this looks so good. I'm going to taste and just shortly see if we need any more salt, how much salt we need. We did season it a little bit, but we didn't put too much. All right. Uh-oh. Mm. Y'all, that's good. Already. I'm going to add in a little bit more of the Kinder's blackened no salt seasoning. Add a little extra something. This has no salt, so have at it. I'm going to add in just a tiny bit more salt. And then let's turn this down because we don't want our lobster to overcook. Oh, y'all, this smells so delicious. And I'm sure it looks delicious to y'all because it looks delicious to me. All right. All right, so you see, it's soaking up the sauce. If you want it a little bit more salty, I don't, I'm good where it is here. If you want more, more liquid, you can add in some chicken broth. But honestly, y'all, you really don't need it. You really don't. Let me taste a little bit of the sauce here. Mm. Woo! All right. I am going to add in a little grated garlic, or sorry, not garlic. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. This is optional. I'm going to add this directly inside of our pan. Again, because I was adding cheese, that's one of the other reasons why I didn't use a lot of salt. Cheese is salty. And it will add salt to your dish. So to prevent something from being overly seasoned or over salty, or too salty rather, just be mindful. All right. This is it, y'all. I am going to plate. This was so easy. Easy. The only reason why I took this long is I've been talking to y'all. All right. Let's clean up a little bit, get stuff out the way, and get our pasta dish. All right. We're going to use more of this cheese once we plate. Let me know if y'all have any questions. 
I'm definitely here to answer your questions. Oh, baby. This little girl is going to have a great dinner today. All right. Oh, I'm trying to make it cute. It's so hard. I'm not a food stylist. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in some cherry tomatoes around. Make sure we get some of that lobster here. All right. A few more pieces of cherry tomato because I like tomatoes. My little girl doesn't, so I'll be the one eating up all the tomatoes. The garlic. All right. Then I'm going to top it with a few scallops. Yes. This is a perfect date night in meal for your bae. Okay. Let's put a little bit of... Uh, parsley on top or you can uh, slice up some basil as our garnish as well that's an option too now we're gonna grate a little bit of cheese on top just a little bit say when I said a little bit but I'm still oh baby all right, y'all, this is so good. Oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, let me get it cute for y'all because we don't present ugly food. We eat with our eyes first. So here it is, y'all. Our easy weeknight pasta dish. We have Pinot Grigio, so white wine, lemon, lemon juice, lemon zest. We have some garlic shallots, lobster, scallops, cherry tomatoes, and basil. Very, very simple, very easy. We in there. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what's next. Let's see what y'all saying in the chat. That's my favorite bowl. <laughs> yes, Derek is here for the bowls, okay? Let me fix my presentation. I got to take a picture and a video. Let's see. Yvette says, that looks bomb. Thank you. From what I already tasted, I think it's going to be bomb as well. It's going to taste bomb. All right, let me remove that. Put this top on. This is for the child. Her dinner is ready. All right. So let me take a picture and a video. And then I'm going to taste it for y'all because I'm sure it's delicious. I'm sure, sure, sure it's delicious. I'm going to give y'all another little, uh, let me see. I'm going to give y'all another little peek at the food before I taste it. Because this is cute. This real cute, okay? This is really cute. Oh, baby. Shout out to the stream sponsor, Mr. Thane Mithra, with the not one, but $200 cash app. This meal is for him. It is dedicated to him today. That's why I had to make sure it was extra cute since Thane blessed us today. Yes. All right, y'all. Let me give y'all one more. One more peek. One more peek. What? All right. Here we go. Look at there. Look at there. Isn't it beautiful? What is it? Velvet? <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going I'm to I'm try this for y'all. Let me get my fork. See what y'all talking about in the comments. Cookbook coming soon. Cookbook is coming soon. Y'all, I do want to do a cookbook. Let me tell y'all. Like, okay, so I have always been into cooking. I've always looked at Food Network. Before it became a popular thing, I think I was like the first person in my house to look at Food Network. I really was. 
Food Network and HGTV, they used to be my thing. All right, hold up. Before I tell y'all this story, let me taste this. Let me taste it. Here, let me get a little. This basil and a cherry tomato. Oh, oh, it's running away. Okay. Mm. Look, I love pasta. I love, love, love pasta. And this is another pasta dish that I love. It's so light, but it's so much flavor in here. Like, when I tell y'all, if you're not one that cooks with wine, you got to start. You got to start. You're not going to get drunk, which we done made plenty of boozy meals over here in the kitchen with Terry. So y'all know I feed it to my child. It's not a problem. All you got to make sure you're doing when you're cooking with alcohol, whether it's wine or liquor or even beer, just make sure you cook it long enough so that your uh the alcohol cooks out mm. <laughs> oh my god that's so good i can't get enough of it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i had a red pepper go down my throat shout out to thane mithra again Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, I sound like my mama talking about, look at air. That man used to do the weird TV. <coughs> yes, all of that. So as a teenager, I've always been into Food Network, HGTV. And um, growing up, one of my favorite, favorite Food Network personalities, Ina Garten. It's getting hot. I'm sweating. Ina Garten was my favorite favorite <clears throat> food personality she was on food network she had a restaurant in the hamptons she lives in the hamptons so like she real bougie fab <coughs> <coughs> fabulous life right she had my dream kitchen and then she started coming out with cookbooks y'all her cookbooks are like a work of art they have all these beautiful pictures in them all this wonderful food and honestly, if you ever seen an Ina Garden show and then you see how I cook, you understand where I got all this from. I am sweating, Lord Jesus. Yes, unwrapped. Yes, unwrapped with uh, Mark Summers. I used to love that show, unwrapped. And you would get all the behind the scenes of like how different things were made. It's wild to me, like all the stuff that they do in these factories now. They still have people working in the factories, but the machines do most of the work. Unwrap was good. Diners drives in, diners drive in and dives. Um, Elton, what was his name? He was like a food nerd, Elton Brown. And he was also one of the hosts of Iron Chef. I used to watch Iron Chef before it became an American version. <clears throat> I would watch the Japanese version where everybody was Asian. Remember, I love Asian food. Everybody was Asian. Nobody spoke hardly spoke English. Nobody spoke English, actually. And the entire show um, had to have subtitles. So they would have these people, they would have like the Asian folks over there in Asia talking fast and whatnot, but English speaking. So they had like little English voiceovers and it never matched, but it was, it was fun. All right, y'all. That's all I got for today. A cute little cook with me. I'm finally tasting the scallop. Mmm. Oh, y'all make sure y'all check this out. Make sure you try this recipe. I just got a good taste of this. The no salt blackened seasoning from Kinder's. I bought this today at Sprouts. If you have a Sprouts in your area, definitely go check it out. I'll see if I can find these seasonings on Amazon and add them to my Amazon store. <clears throat> if you have any suggestions, recommendations for the channel, be it things you want me to cook, topics you want me to discuss, another idea for like a cook along with me so that everyone can get their ingredients on beforehand. Any ideas, 
reach out to me. You can leave a comment on one of the videos. You can send me an email, Terry, T-E-R-I, at mysexyestrong.com. Or you can reach out to me on Instagram, My Sexy is Strong, across all social media platforms. Again, huge shout out to Thane Mithra, the stream, stream sponsor. Let me put the banner back up. Looks like the banner got lost. Thane Mithra, the stream sponsor for his $200 cash app donation. I really appreciate it. Because of him, we're going we gonna to do it up on Wednesday and Friday. This whole week, we're doing it up. Shout out to Thane. We're going to make sure we make a special, special meal in appreciation of his amazing support of the channel. Um, also, again, <coughs> if y'all have any ideas or anything you would like for me to discuss, let me know. Let me see any comments I want to address before I leave. Or if y'all have any questions. I mean, we we getting off a little early, y'all. Y'all know I usually be here on uh, about an hour and a half. So this was quick today. Derek says I'm rubbing it in. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fade is the real MVP. He is, y'all. Oh, my God. He's so supportive of so many different people on YouTube. I've seen the... The, the level of support he gives. And honestly, y'all, for those of you in the comments that are content creators, you know that like while you're building, the generosity of your viewers means the world. I mean, it always going to mean the world because look, money ain't hard to come to get, okay? Or ain't easy to get. People work hard for their money. And if someone wants to share with you because they believe in what you're doing, they like what you're doing, they want to show you support, they want to encourage you, or they want to help you grow financially to be able to buy the things. It's expensive being a content creator. There's lots of equipment. And then I'm cooking. So who ha? So I, literally, y'all, the money that you give, it goes to the grocery store. <laughs> so I really, really appreciate it. It is not required. I really just want to be able to show y'all different ways to cook for health, to make this lifestyle work for you. So even your reviews of the different videos or the different recipes. I think Mona, she might not be here. I know she has, she's working today, but Mona said something or on Mona's community tab. She took a picture. She tried the boozy wings, the drunken wings that we made the other day. Mona tried them. She said they were great. Her and her husband, they love them. So Derek, cause I know you like cooking with, you want some boozy stuff. So make sure you make those wings, Derek in the comments. We got somebody here special. I think this is her first time here, Adora. Thank you so much for joining, Adora, my soror, my chapter soror, okay? So thank you, thank you, thank you. What does Derek say? More boozy foods with cannabis. Okay, I actually, I had a conversation the other day. I will be cooking <clears throat> with cannabis here soon, okay? I will be cooking with that real soon. Craig says, slap your mama seasoning. So I've had slap your mama. I haven't bought it in a long time because I have so many similar seasonings. Slap your mama is very similar to like Tony's to me, but I will buy some and use it the next time. Um, that'll be one of the ones that I can use. Yes, Derek, make sure you go ahead and Try out those wings. They were amazing, amazing, amazing. What is Miss Peach Love saying? Old to Janice Irene, scallops were her favorite food. Yes, that's one another reason. My grandmother loves scallops. My grandmother loves seafood, period. So, y'all, we was always eating seafood. All right, y'all. <clears throat> like I said, this is a short one. I, I don't want to keep eating in y'all face, but I'm hungry. And this is delicious. So make sure y'all check it out. Craig says, let's make grown up butter. Yes, let's. Let's make some butter. We're going to make some butter. And then I want, can you make, um, can we also make um, infused olive oil? I would love to do like either olive oil or avocado oil, not just butter, uh, so that we can be able to infuse our food. So <clears throat> if y'all know, I think. Um, Craig was talking about that butter. If you, if we can make olive oil, I'd love to do that too. I was about to cook some food until I got, you know what? Glamorous D. Look, we going <laughs> Derek Gaines says, yes, I got 10 on it. Okay. Okay. Y'all 
gonna we gonna do some cannabis infused food here because honestly, cannabis infused foods will be. Oh, we got somebody answering my question. Jabron, yes, look at my brother Jabron. Jabron, thank you so much for joining. Jabron, he says I just did olive oil yesterday. Okay, so you did infused olive oil. All right, I'm sold. Then I'm gonna get y'all know I got my good olive oil. I got my good olive oil in here. I spent about ten dollars on that one bottle, and it wasn't even that big. So, or maybe thirteen. I don't know. But we'll get some good olive oil. We'll infuse our olive oil as well as butter. I prefer cooking with olive oil, but we can use butter as well. I have to think about it. If if I can do it in enough time, if we can get the butter and olive oil made by this week, then I can in cook infuse either on Friday or Sunday. So we'll try to do that here soon. Very, very soon. Some infused. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right. Any more questions before we go, y'all? Thank y'all so much for joining. Thank y'all so much for being engaged in the chat. Make sure y'all like this video. <clears throat> Make sure you like the video. Make sure to share it with your friends and family. Update on the monetization journey. So y'all know my channel is still new. I've only been doing content creation uh, since January. January 27th, I believe, was my very first live stream. Since then, at on January 1st or January 27th, I think I started out with like 80 subscribers because I had started asking people on Facebook to subscribe. So I had less than 100 by the time I actually started my very first video. Today, we are at 1160, like 1,166 subscribers. So we have surpassed the subscriber mark to get monetized, which is 1,000. And the next requirement, there's multiple requirements, but the next hardest requirement is your watch hours. So YouTube requires you to have 4,000 watch hours in order to become monetized. Once your channel is monetized, then I can actually start generating income from YouTube. So from ads, you can send super chats and all that type of stuff, right? <clears throat> 4,000 hours we need. Right now we're at about 712. So in not even three months, in Maybe in 10 weeks, I've been able to go from zero watch hours to over 700. It's looking like we're trending to get to a thousand by the end of the month. So shout out to y'all for being huge supporters of the channel, for watching the videos, making sure you're sharing them with people. I really, really appreciate it. So <laughs> what is Glamour's D saying? 250K subs for that silver plague. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know if I want to ask, being petty. Hey, Adora, welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for uh, <clears throat> welcoming Adora. Let's see. Craig says, they make so many different kinds of slap your mama. They do. There's different kinds. So we'll, I'll definitely um, take a look at all of those. I just want to be right off of boozy and cannabis foods. You and me both. Okay. You and me both. Jabron says, proud of you, sis. Let me know if you need any ideas. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, LeBron, uh, Jabron, so much for being supportive. He's always been very supportive of me ever since I met him, what, back in like 2016 here in Phoenix. So thank you so much. And yes, please let me know if you try any of my recipes or anyone you know tries the recipes. You can tag me on Instagram or Facebook so I can see and shout y'all out, okay? Let me see. <clears throat> Oh, the plaque, the silver plaque. Yes. Is it a thousand? Is it a hundred thousand or is it 250? The plaque. I can't, I can't read clearly. Yes. I want the plaque too. All right, y'all. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. I will see y'all back here on Wednesday. We will be cooking an amazing dish sponsored by Mr. Thane Mithra. All right, y'all. Thanks again so much for joining me today. I hope y'all learned something. Hope y'all had a good time. Y'all have a